joining us now here in the Situation Room, Michael Collins, former lawyer, Lanny Davis. Lanny, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you, Will. You think uh, your former client, Michael Cohn, did enough today to establish that the alleged illegal activity that the prosecution is, is claiming against Trump, that, that all of the alleged illegal activity was done specifically with the direction of Donald Trump? Well, that's what the federal prosecutors found in their sentencing report. And Michael Cohn did his time, and they found that he was directed by Mr. Trump. So if Michael Cohn did the time for the crime, so should Mr. Trump. But I have an invitation for all of Mr. Trump's supporters tonight, and to Mr. Trump respectfully. Uh, you said to your supporters, to the American people, that you would testify. Not might, but would testify. Now Michael Cohn has been carpeted with the tax at being a liar when he was lying almost always for you. So now you're going to keep your word, Mr. Trump, and testify, stand up, and tell the truth the way that Michael Cohn has, and then we'll see what the jury decides. You think Trump will testify? Well, I uh, think that he may have a problem with the truth because I know what the facts are, and the truth here is that Mr. Trump was directly involved in the same crime that Michael Cohn was forced to go to prison for, but I'm in inviting him and all of his supporters tonight. He said the words, I would testify. Look it up. Mr. Trump, it's time. Now that you've heard Michael Cohn being attacked over and over again by your supporters, it's time for you to but stand But you're a up. lawyer. You know his lawyers are recommending he not go and testify. Uh, his lawyers uh, are recommending that he not testify because I think they're afraid that he doesn't often know the truth from the non-truth, so he'll make a difficult witness. Michael Cohen had the courage to stand up and testify under oath and to take the cross-examination in the next several days, which won't be easy. He took cross-examination in the case involving Attorney General Tish James, and the judge found him credible. Now, Mr. Trump, it's your turn. Keep your word. You promised your supporters. I welcome your testimony. Let's see if he does. Uh, Cohen testified today, uh, as you know, that he received a text this is Cohen's testimony, from Melania Trump on October 18th, 2016, a few days be before the uh, 2016 presidential election. That was a day after Stormy Daniels' attorney said the agreement was canceled. It was canceled. I interviewed Michael Cohen that day right here in the Situation Room. Let me play another clip from that interview. Listen to this. Wolf, I have never heard Mr. Trump say anything even remotely close to the statements that I heard. In honest, it, truthfully, Mr. Trump actually respects women very, very much, and it's indicative of the company. It's so, indicative so of let me the number of women that are executives, and the way that he promotes women is identical so do to you that agree? of men. So, what's your reaction to that? This is Michael Cohen uh, during the days when he said to the American people in Congress, I'm ashamed of myself for what I did for Mr. Trump, and what he did there was what he was referring to. He was defending the indefensible out of loyalty to Mr. Trump, and he regrets it and has shown remorse. And the one thing I can say, knowing him from the very beginning when he came to me, he wanted to do this truth and take all the punishment for his family and for his country. And that, what you saw there, is the old Michael Cohen. We now see a different one. As you know, the critics are accusing your former client, Michael Cohen, of displaying a clear bias and, indeed, a hatred of Donald Trump. Just last week, he wore this T-shirt. Let me put it up on the screen. This T-shirt uh, depicting Trump behind bars during a TikTok video. Given this, uh, why should the jury believe he is being fair in his testimony? Well, I certainly think he regrets... Uh, the understandable anger that he still feels in what he did on social media, I think he, he regrets. But I also know that he stood up today and he told the truth. And I also know that he'll stand up to the cross-examination the way he did in the Attorney General of New York's case, where the judge found him credible. But more importantly, I've been in the room with Michael during all this preparation with the prosecutors, and every single word of his testimony was corroborated and will be corroborated by testimony of other people, by documents, by emails, by text messages. So the truth surrounds him by documents, and that's why he's not afraid to take the stand. And I believe that Mr. Trump should live up to his promise to take the stand as well. And his lawyer shouldn't be afraid because he'll tell the truth. All right. To Lanny Davis, I uh, hope. come back. We'll continue this conversation. Thank you. Lanny Davis helping us appreciate what's going on.